The early universe was a dark and mysterious place where the first stars and galaxies were born out of primordial gas and dust. But there was another player in this cosmic drama, black holes. These are the most extreme and powerful objects in the universe, capable of swallowing matter and light and emitting enormous amounts of energy. A new study using the most powerful telescope ever built, the James Webb Space Telescope, has revealed that black holes existed at the dawn of time before the first stars and galaxies formed and that they had a significant impact on the star and galaxy formation. In this video, we will explore the amazing discoveries of this study and how they challenge our understanding of the origin and evolution of black holes and galaxies. We will also learn how the study was conducted, what methods and data were used, and what implications and limitations it has for future research. This video will answer the question, how did black holes and galaxies coexist and influence each other in the early universe? So, stay tuned and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more amazing videos like this one. The main finding of the study, published in the Astrophysical Journal Letters, is that black holes existed at the dawn of time before the first stars and galaxies formed. This is contrary to the classical understanding that black holes formed after the first stars and galaxies emerged and that they were the result of the collapse of massive stars. How do we know this? Well, the study used the James Webb Space Telescope, which can observe the infrared light from the distant universe, which reveals the hidden activity of black holes and galaxies. The study found that the infrared light from the early universe was much brighter and more variable than expected, and this was due to the presence of black holes that were actively accreting matter and emitting radiation. These black holes were not only present but also very influential. They birthed new stars and supercharged galaxy formation by generating powerful magnetic fields and outflows that could turn gas clouds into stars. In other words, black holes and galaxies coexisted and influenced each other's evolution in the early universe. But how did these black holes form in the first place? And how did they grow so fast and powerful? This is one of the mysteries that the study tries to solve. The study suggests that the first black holes may have formed from the direct collapse of primordial gas clouds without going through the intermediate stage of star formation. These gas clouds were very dense and massive and they could collapse under their gravity and form black holes with masses of tens of thousands to millions of times that of the sun. These black holes then grew rapidly by accreting more gas and merging with other black holes, reaching masses of billions of times that of the Sun in a relatively short time. These black holes are known as supermassive black holes, and they are found at the centers of most galaxies today, including our own Milky Way. The study shows that the black holes emitted intense radiation and powerful jets of matter that could heat up and ionize the surrounding gas creating bubbles of hot and ionized gas around them. The study estimates that the first black holes could account for up to 30% of the star formation in the early universe and that they could enhance the galaxy formation by a factor of two to three. How did the study conduct this analysis and what methods and data were used? The study used the James Webb Space Telescope, the most advanced and powerful telescope ever built it has a 6.5-meter mirror, which is about six times larger than the Hubble Space Telescope, and it can observe infrared light from the distant universe, which is invisible to the human eye. Infrared light is important because it can penetrate the dust and gas that obscure the visible light from the early universe, and it can also reveal the temperature and chemical composition of the objects that emit it. The study observed the infrared light from a patch of the sky that contains about 100,000 galaxies, and it measured their brightness and variability over time. The study then analyzed the data using sophisticated models and simulations, and it compared the observations with the theoretical predictions. The study found that the observations matched the predictions only if there were black holes in the early universe 
that were accreting matter and emitting radiation and that these black holes had a significant impact on star and galaxy formation. But how did the study measure the brightness and variability of the infrared light? And how did it distinguish the contribution of the black holes from the contribution of the stars and galaxies? This is where the study used some clever techniques and tools. It used a special instrument on the James Webb Space Telescope called the Near Infrared Camera, or NER Cam, which can capture images of infrared light with high resolution and sensitivity. It also used a technique called time domain astronomy, which is the study of how the brightness of objects changes over time. It found that the infrared light from the early universe had two main components, a steady component, which came from the stars and galaxies, and a variable component, which came from the black holes. The study also found that the variable component was much more dominant than expected and that it accounted for up to 80% of the infrared light in some cases. The study also found that the variable component had a characteristic frequency, which matched the frequency of the black hole accretion and emission. What are the implications and limitations of the study, and what questions and challenges does it raise for future research? Well, the study has profound implications for our understanding of cosmic history and it opens new possibilities for exploring the origin and evolution of black holes and galaxies. The study challenges the classical understanding that black holes formed after the first stars and galaxies emerged and that they were the result of the collapse of massive stars. The study suggests that black holes formed before the first stars and galaxies and that they were the source of the first light and heat in the universe. The study also suggests that black holes and galaxies coexisted and influenced each other's evolution in the early universe, and that black holes played a crucial role in the formation of large-scale structures and the cosmic web. However, the study also has some limitations and uncertainties, and it leaves some questions unanswered. For example, how did the first black holes form, and what were their properties and masses? How did the black holes interact with the surrounding gas and radiation? And how did they affect the thermal and chemical evolution of the universe? How did the black holes and galaxies grow and merge over time? And what role did they play in the formation of large-scale structures and the cosmic web? These are some of the open questions that remain to be explored by future observations and simulations. In this video, we have learned about the amazing discoveries of a new study that used the James Webb Space Telescope to observe the infrared light from the early universe. We have learned that black holes existed at the dawn of time before the first stars and galaxies formed and that they birthed new stars and supercharged galaxy formation by generating powerful magnetic fields and outflows. We have also learned how the study was conducted what methods and data were used, and what implications and limitations it has for future research. This study challenges our understanding of the origin and evolution of black holes and galaxies, and it opens new possibilities for exploring cosmic history. This story will blow your mind, and we hope you enjoyed it as much as we did. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more videos like this one.